what was it like to play him? A lot of fun. He's clearly a bad guy, but um, getting to be funny and weirdly charming at the same time is like a really good tightrope to walk that made it kind of a hard gig, but a good fun hard gig, you know? They're so good in this film, and do you know what? Like, I don't usually need too much of a reminder not to take it too seriously anyway, but like when you're doing something that's scary and kind of malevolent and horrible like this film is, uh, and upsetting like this film is, and like horrif horrifying like this film is, um, in between takes, you've got to just lighten it up because you've got these two kids running around having an amazing time in the English summer, in the English countryside, and they don't need reminded of all the stuff that they're having to do within the take, you know? I've always worried about talking to the couple next to me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think um, yeah. After you've watched this movie, you're definitely gonna think twice about hanging out with your vacation friends. Definitely. There's a scene where we're all sitting around having dinner in a in this like restaurant, and um, and I'm talking about my parents and stuff. And there's a line that Ashling says to me, where she says, "You get longer for murder." and my character laughs at it, and that's probably my favorite bit. But also, actually, Ashling Franciosi has my favorite bit in the whole film, where she looks at her son and she just goes like, God, he's rubbish. And you're like, oh, it's so throwaway harsh, but parents can be like that sometimes. It was great, it was so fun. I mean, James is a blast and such a lovely person to work with. And, uh, and it was fun to like clean house in the end. It was amazing, I mean, I love shooting in one place because you really let the environment kind of influence the tone of the movie and uh, we were in this sort of haunted farmhouse and uh, the Cotswolds, uh, we just had a great time. James did this really amazing thing where he would direct apologies or like any sort of group conversation towards um, my husband played by Scoot in the movie and that's such a subtle choice that I think a lot of people identify or a lot of women where they get sort of like isolated out of a conversation but you can't point to it right away and it's like a sort of private barb that's being um, uh, you know stabbed into your side and uh, and that's a red flag. Ah, incredible experience. He's such an incredible actor and I can't every wait for everybody to see his performance in this. He brings so many colors, so much masculinity, and so much charisma. It's, it's, he's, he's fantastic in the film. Kids were phenomenal. I don't think we could have made the movie without him. Dan really brings it home in the end. Um, but working with everybody on the film was just uh, such a great experience. I know it's a scary film, but there was a lot of laughs when we were shooting the, the film. Oh, it's great. We were out um, about you know an hour and a half uh, west of London in the Cotswold, beautiful countryside. Um, so I mean, it was really peaceful and nice, and it wasn't so uh, horrific on the when we were shooting. Yeah, it's a, it's a ride. You know, audience have been loving it, and we're looking forward to getting a wider release and getting people in and giving them a real roller coaster. I've wanted to work with James for a while and admired him for a long time, and. I wrote the script really with James in mind, so it was fantastic that he said yes. And uh, he's brilliant. He's a force of nature. He's just so naturally talented, but also so so committed. You know, such a great creative partner. A great villain. Oh yeah, but a great villain because he's also charming as hell as well. You know, he's he's uh, he's fun as much as he is uh, devilish. I just love this idea of a story about two couples that meet on holiday and become vacation friends and one invites the other over and it felt really relatable to just everyday lives that we have, you know, and how things can go wrong and the sort of horror of social interaction. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's completely non-verbal performance and uh, Dan has never, ever acted professionally, ever. So when we screen tested him, I got lots of crew around the camera. I got a big camera out. Because half the thing of acting is just the intimidation of all the crew. So he was amazing. He was just so in the moment from the get-go. And uh, like all brilliant actors, he's just imaginatively so there. And yeah, he's, he's a real find. The humor of the film is something I really lent into. And it it's, it's, there's a lot of laughs in this movie. It's not, you know, it's, it's got its kind of thrills and darknesses. But it's a real fun ride as well. And that queasiness, that kind of cringe humor is something I really enjoy and I think audiences will too. I wanted to have a really great time in the cinema and to come out 
slightly exhausted but in a good way and like they feel like they've been on an amazing roller coaster but also it's a film that's about something you know it's got it's not just clockwork it sort of speaks to the world in which we live the original movie was so compelling um, and so creepy and so unnerving. And I love the way it's kind of a play on, talks about, I think people try to please people too much now. And I, I thought that was very an interesting aspect of the movie for me. We want them to be very scared and unsettled and have nightmares. I want them to have nightmares. If they have nightmares, I did my job. It was an amazing experience. I mean, everybody on set, the crew, the cast, it was, and the scenery, just, it was our whole, it was like a family. It's a little bit scary, but it's fun. It's fun. It's tense. James McAvoy, he was amazing. He's one of the best people I've ever worked with. He's so sweet. He's so funny. He's crazy. He just gets right into it. Um, rehearsal or not, rehearsal or filming, it's just, he's always into his, into his character and he really brings himself into his characters too, which is amazing and just watching him is really an, a learning experience too. I don't want to give too much away, but definitely just anything with the whole cast, definitely just everybody together and all of the crew together and everything. Um, and anything in those really scenic areas was a lot of fun. Oh, amazing. Yeah, he's an amazing actor, an amazing person, and I learned so much from him on set. I remember in one scene, he, um, he taught me a technique to like breathe lots before the scene to get your like your adrenaline rushing and stuff. So and uh, to do like activities to get yourself breathing a lot. So I remember that bit. It was my first role ever. What? Yeah, yeah, my first role. Yeah, so I, I was really scared going on to set, but everyone was so nice and it was just a really positive experience. It's such a powerful film and it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It isn't a natural horror, it's more of a psycho psychological horror and it's so powerful. I think it's much more like an empowering film than our film which was uh, pretty dark. So I think, um, you know, I think people will feel empowered and hopefully brave enough to see it. Totally on the edge of the seat, James McAvoy is a brilliant actor and uh, yeah creepy and haunting it's the sum of a lot of things you had an experience we had an experience with brothers so we we we, we experienced when we traveled as uh, as kids we we met people who sort of invited them us to their to their home and we went there uh, wasn't it cozy as we planned and we sort of took that thought a little bit further and imagined what what could what could happen what could be the worst thing that happened and I think this uh, this is this is where it ended you know, everybody meet people and, you know, you have holiday friends and the problem starts when you see them again half a year later in the private homes. And we just thought that would be a thrilling idea for a, for a horror film. Be careful, you know, or, 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 you know, listening to your inner red flags and all. This was very much what this theme was for us, you know. You know, try to speak up instead of avoiding to speak. So it's, that was the moral tale from the original yeah, story. I think that's the thing that we're still, I mean, trying to practice every day because it's a hard thing. I mean, you don't want to insult people, you want to stay polite, but you don't want to get your boundaries crossed either. So I, I think it's a thing that we should practice every day. At least I know I do. I'm glad uh, that it turned out this way and I think they, they did something different, which I think justified making a remake. Yeah, I, I think it's a different take on the same story, which is better than just copying, you know, the film and and I couldn't definitely direct this version I'm you know we are Scandinavian we think in a different way so it's it's a very American take on on the same story I think they did a great job